what is up and what is good youtube welcome back to the channel today's toy hunt is going to be a walmart toy hunt uh nothing too fancy just the only thing i'm looking for is the wwe superstars hollywood hulk hogan figure uh they kind of look like that Rempel style wrestling figure from the 80s so that's probably about the only thing i'm looking for and we're gonna just go in and see what they have it's been a while since i've been uh to a walmart to check out the toys so i'm kind of you know curious to see what they have hopefully they have lots of cool stuff since we haven't been back for a while uh, so let's head on in check out uh this walmart and if you're new to the channel welcome uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up with future toys and videos also give me a follow on instagram at socal shot all right let's head on in all right everyone we are here in the toy section of walmart checking out the jurassic park stuff lots of uh, new things i think this is from a cartoon called camp cretaceous Looks like it's on Netflix. But here we have a t cool looking T-Rex, which I've never seen before. And this is new as well. And Toys. And here we have some Ghostbuster stuff. Same old stuff we've seen before. Here you got Lucky. But down here, next to the Ecto-1, we have the Retro. Ecto one Kenner. First time I've ever seen this in stores, actually. It's pretty cool to see. They got two of them here. So that's pretty awesome. These boxes look so nice. It's like the vintage ones. We actually picked uh, one of these up from Walmart.com months ago. So it's cool that they're finally showing up at stores for people who couldn't get it. Go Jitsu. What else do we have here? Some G.I. Joe classifieds. Of all the females, no one's picking up the females. You got Bullseye, these are cool. These always remind me of the Secret Wars figures. And you got some Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Almost like 12 inch figures. Let's see, what else do they got? Still got Spider Man, No Way Home stuff. Some of the DC figures there. Because this this guy's based off the animated series, looks like it. Uh, lots of Batman stuff. Here's a Batman guitar playing figure. Here we have the Gordon with the Gotham City police car. Actually pretty cool that back still like the design of this car it just looks like a 80s muscle car still have Godzilla here all we ever see is Landau Carizino we got Panda Baba there and then the other guy Dr. Ivazin oh there's actually a Princess Leia back here from A New Hope She actually looks pretty good. cool. She looks really good. We'll leave that there for somebody. Got Power Rangers. This is a cool toy I hear for a kid. Pretty big. Megazord there. Lots of Mario Brothers. Roblox. Okay, on this side we have some Among Us figures. Oh, these are cool. Looks like these are Walmart exclusives only. My son loves playing this game. And they're actually really cool little characters there. I've got a couple Pokemon cards still here. I don't know if the hype has died down on these. It has for us. We pick them up every now and then. But uh, yeah, they have some new ones here. For you Pokemon collectors out there, Turbo Mans, always Turbo Mans now. Remember when those Turbo Mans were going for big bucks when they first hit the shelves last year? Halo, Halo. Smashes the Universe, you got the little mini ones. 
I'm still looking for the beast man from this series. I have never seen him here in San Diego. I got all the other figures, but no beast man. And we've been having these for a few months now, this series. So this one is new. I haven't seen this one before. This two pack, a really cool two pack here with He-Man Skeletor. I think they have a little bit of different paint apps, like the yellow on his arms. That's probably like the only difference. You got the flocked Panthor, Stridor. What's back here, hiding back here? A rock from the movie. I never saw Ruddy Piper from this series. And uh, I already went through this before, so I started filming. The figure I was looking for was, of course, the Hollywood Hogan from the WWE Superstar Series. And he is not here. Honky Tong is not here either. Just Ric Flair and Bray Wyatt. Which I don't care about Bray Wyatt. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up Ric Flair. I have the Remco Ric Flair, so... I don't, I don't think I need him. But here we have uh, Cody Rhodes, who's in the WWE now. So these might be a collectible items in the future because of that. But yeah, I don't know if I should pick this guy up or just wait till I find Hogan. Because he, he's that Hollywood Hogan, man, in that Remco style. It's awesome. Uh, besides that, nothing else here in the action figure section. I did come upon these. Uh, are on clearance now for nine bucks. All they have is Raphael, though. So you want to stock them on some retro turtles? Check out your local Walmarts. Looks like they're on clearance now. I think they were $12.99 before. Now they're $9. So that's going to do it here for this uh, toy section here at Walmart. But now we see the new Avatar figures. It's Uncle Iroh. Pretty cool. I haven't seen them before. I got two of them. I wonder if there was any other. Oh, yeah, look, it's a different Aang in the Avatar state. So this is pretty cool. They're making more figures in this series. I don't know if that's the same Zuko or not. But definitely going to pick up Uncle Iroh. My favorite character in the show. All right, guys, we are at the collectible section here at Walmart. They got these new Ghostbusters Afterlife Pops. It's a cool muncher. He looks like he's translucent. Lucky. They got podcasts. They even made a uh, Mr. Gruber sign. Well, this is a cool little uh, box here, too. Look, those look pretty new. For you pop collectors out there, you got some uh, Squid Game stuff here. And these, I've been kind of tempted to pick some of these up. I did pick up the LeBron James from this uh, Gold Funko series. But here we have TLC. That's pretty cool. Uh, they're making uh, collectibles here for hip-hop fans. And then they got the NBA. That's so I got this LeBron James. So it's really cool. Looks like they had some uh, NECA stuff here. They got April. O'Neal. So these are hidden stores. I still need Donatello and Leonardo, the two pack by NECA. I refuse to pay resellers for it. So I'm going <laughs> to have to try to find it in stores. Got lucky with Mikey and Raph. Uh, but that's what they have here at the collector's section here at Walmart. King Kong. Cool looking King Kong. So above the video game section here, they do have a few more items uh, from special Walmart exclusive pops. Doors, it's kind of actually kind of cool right there. Comes with a vinyl record too. And uh, Biggie, but they had this one. This is cool. I haven't seen this one in a while in stores. That's, so that's pretty cool to see that. All right, everyone, I just had to show off these uh, new DVD covers I have here on these movies. They're supposed to be postcards. So the same movies repackaged with the postcard art, but 
It makes these movies look like art house movies with the artwork on them. Like the Matrix, look at that. <laughs> They're pretty cool. The one I thought was funny was this Mortal Kombat one. It just makes it look like some kind of indie art house movie or something. I don't know. It's funny. But the Elm Street one's actually really cool. The Conjuring. But it's, it's funny because you've seen the Conjuring, you know, there's a hanging. The witch gets hung from that tree. But pretty cool. Right, back to the future one in the Goonies looks pretty cool in that vacation one as well. Oh, Chucky, I didn't even see Chucky. Where best friends are made. That's funny. You can't even tell it's a horror movie by that cover. I am back home in the toy room, everyone. Uh, it was a quick trip to Walmart. Uh, nothing major. I really wasn't there to go looking at the toys. I was pretty much at Walmart to get, you know, the essentials for the home, you know. But, you know, every time we go to Walmart, we got to check out the toy section, right? Same thing with Target. You go for, you know, detergent. You got to check out the toy section, right? And I'm not big on collecting modern toys. But there are a few toy lines I do collect. Uh, like, I was looking for the WWE Superstars, the Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure. I did not find it. They had Ric Flair. Although, he's very cool. I think I'll be able to pick him up anytime I want. Uh, but the one I really wanted was Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And those WWE Superstar figures, they're kind of like the Remco figures, like these guys uh, down here. So they kind of fit in with that, which is really cool. Kind of like the WWE uh, retro ones that fit in with the Hasbros. So I kind of wanted that Hogan, see he, he could fit in with the Hasbros. And then they're making Scott Hall and Kevin Nash as well. So you can have the whole, like, the first three of the NWO members, which is cool. Uh, but one thing I was surprised to see was new figures uh, of Avatar The Last Airbender from McFarlane. I love that cartoon series. It's an awesome series. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, what I love about it, it's, it's only three seasons. And, you know, there's a beginning, middle, and end to the story. They don't drag it out for like 10 seasons. Uh, they, Of course, there are some filler episodes, but... Uh, it's a great series. It's awesome. And I was surprised to see they had some new uh, figures for that line. Uh, these are made by McFarlane Toys. And I didn't even know these were out. I just saw them and uh, I had to have them. You know, I already have the other ones uh, from Series 1. So this is Aang. So this one comes with the white eyes and the white arrow because he's in the Avatar state. If you have seen the cartoon series, you know what I'm talking about. When he goes into Avatar State is when he becomes the most powerful. So that's very cool because uh, the figure from Series 1 kind of has like a happy face to him. And then I was very excited to pick up this figure because it's uh, my favorite character in the whole uh, series. is Uncle Iroh right here from the Fire Nation. He's very cool. He comes with some kind of like... Some kind of like plasma green uh, accessory, probably for, to do some of uh, his posing. But what's weird is he's a firebender, so that should be kind of red and it's green. So I, I don't know. But anyways, he's a cool looking figure. He looks awesome. And uh, McFarlane makes these figures. They're cool. They're only $10, which is not bad. So glad to pick him up. There actually is another figure named Toph. Have you seen the series? Toph is the blind girl who's in uh, the group with these guys, uh, with the Avatar crew. And she's awesome. She's an earthbender. So that's the only one that was not there. I had to look it up because I was curious. Like, they can't just be two new characters. Uh, kind of like the first series had four characters. And then this one looks like three. I don't know. There's a fourth one. There was a Zuko there, but he kind of looks just like the one from the uh, series one so i'm not sure if there's any difference there i'm gonna have to take out my figure from series one and see if there's a difference there but it didn't look like it uh but if you guys know if there's another character in the second series uh besides Tov, let me know and then one thing i was surprised to pick up that i did pick up was at the collector section so funko makes these figures called gold vinyl gold 
and they're not like Funko Pops. They kind of have like a like a stylized uh, look, and they're making a lot of NBA figures. I already have the LeBron James figure, and we saw there in the video they have a whole bunch of TLC figures. Uh, so they're making a lot of uh, music artists, which is cool. And then uh, <laughs> I found Tupac. So this is the vinyl gold uh, from Funko. So they're, these are like five inch figures. I don't know if you can tell the glare, but Tupac is awesome. He has the Thug Life tattooed on his on his abs and stuff, which is freaking awesome. There you have it right there. Which is really cool. These figures are really awesome. This was the only Tupac that was there. Uh, so I, I picked him up. And also picked up Notorious B.I.G. Biggie Smalls. In his white pimp suit. Which looks awesome. Uh, I did not expect to pick these up at all. I just, it's kind of like an impulse kind of thing. right? So these are very cool. I already have LeBron James. Because I'm a huge uh, NBA fan. As you can tell. Even though the Rockets suck. Anyways but. Uh, especially with basketball fans there's not too many nba figures or collectibles so the vinyl golds are actually really cool and they have so many uh nba figures in the vinyl gold series it's awesome there's even more coming out they got like legends coming out like larry, uh, larry burge key o'neill alan iverson which is insane i went to the website and looked it up and as far as the music ones there's a Slash from Guns N' Roses that is out. I, I am a guitar player myself, so I'm definitely probably going to pick up Slash, you know. Uh, I did not want to collect another toy line, especially like a modern one, because you never know. These They just keep pumping the new stuff out. So, But uh, I'm a big music fan, and so there's Slash, and then there's a Jimi Hendrix as well from Vinyl Go, which I'm going to have to probably pick those up from the website. They have them, and they're only $10, which is... Uh, the worst part right because they're they're not too expensive and 10 bucks was 10 bucks right so i'll probably end up picking those up i might even probably display them next to my turntable uh, i've got a record collection i might display them there right uh, i think they'll look pretty cool if i take them out of the box and put them next to the turntable to the in the music section right uh, but anyways those are cool the vinyl gold figures definitely unexpected pickup but what are you going to do, right? That's the thing with toy collecting. That's the way toy collecting goes. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, these pickups. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Have you picked up anything new uh, from Walmart or Target? Any modern collections? Have you seen Hollywood Hulk Hogan? I'm looking for Hollywood Hulk Hogan from the WWE Superstar Series. I have a feeling like uh, scalpers are picking them all up because he is the probably the most sought after figure. And then maybe Honky Tonk Man after that. But I'm definitely looking for Hollywood Hogan so I can complete them uh, with Scott Hall and Kevin Nash when those figures finally come out. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the, my pickups today. Do you collect Funko Golds or Avatar Last Airbender figures? Let me know. Uh, let me know how your Walmarts are looking. And if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, please uh, consider supporting the channel by hitting the subscribe button and clicking that bell so you know when the new videos come out. I am also on Instagram at SoCal Shaolin. Look me up on there so you can get sneak peeks of what I'm doing in between videos. And also uh, hmm, toy pics, you know, like I post random. You can always send me messages as well. So if you like the video, hit the like button and leave me some comments. There. I'll get back to everyone on the comments section. Uh, I like hearing from you guys. And I uh, hope everyone out there has a great toy hunting week. And I'll catch you on the next toy hunt. I'm so cow shawling.